Welcome to Chuck and Travel. I'm Derek. Today I'm going to show you how I look up loads for hot shotting. All right, the load board we use is truckstop.com. So we're going to go ahead and go to truckstop.com. We have the higher end version because evidently, supposedly, uh, the loads show up faster in that one. Whatever, you're supposed to get more tools. Um, if you get truck stuff, I highly recommend you learning all the tools you can. So we're gonna go over here to log in. The load board. It already has our password saved, so we're just gonna click on log in. All right, now that we're here, we are going to click right here and type in the city that you're starting out. So our general area is Finley, Ohio. And then you gotta put at least one thing over here. So since we're hot shot, we're gonna put HS for hot shot. And then we're not gonna put a destination just so we can leave more doors open. Just go ahead and quick quick load search. Now we're gonna go over here to the right, click on the toolbar thing. Uh, we normally make our radius, uh, our low is normally 150 miles. Now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna add um, FSD and that's for flatbed or step deck. We currently do not have ramps, so we're not gonna use SDL, but if you do have ramps, I guess that's something for you to also add because you could add one more thing. Um, we could just do FA for air ride, since our truck has air ride. We really don't see anything for that. Pickup date, we're gonna say today. Uh, the current time is 1026 AM. Usually the loads are hot around 8 to 10 a.m. in our experience, but you know, I'm sure throughout the day, hot items pop up every once in a while. The max weight we can handle on our trailer is 16.5, so we're gonna go ahead and punch that in. And now we're gonna update and close. It's also gonna add crap on there that we cannot take. Um, Everything, if you click on the top, you can uh, arrange stuff in that order, whatever you click on. Like if you wanna go by distance, you click on distance and that's your shortest. If you wanna go by longest, click it again. And that's how it does it. You can do that with state, see Alabama. You can do it from the other end of the alphabet, Wisconsin on back. But what I like to do is look at the rate per mile. So we have some good rates per mile there. You see they're all above $2. Here, we're gonna go ahead and extend this out to 200 so that way we don't have to flip through the pages. So all of these are above, well a lot of them are pretty high, but a lot of them are pretty far away and therefore short miles, which when you add in the deadhead, it's not really going to be $4.35 because it's 136 miles away according to this. So when you add in the math, it's it's really gonna drop and then is $300 for the day really worth it because it's gonna take 136 miles plus 69 miles, which is roughly 200 miles. So you're looking at 200 miles for 300 bucks. So that's, is, at the end of the day, is that really what you wanna do with your time? So this is actually a decent looking one right here. And uh, so what I would do is I would click on this. And you gotta remember, you're fighting against the clock, so everything you do has to be very fast. I would scroll down and I would, it's good to, we have a factoring company, some people don't. Uh, one of the reasons why I like having a factoring company is because we can take their MC number here and we can do a credit search on them to see if our factoring company likes them there or not, because if our factoring company doesn't like them, then they've been known to miss payments or not pay or whatever. Um, we'll pretend they're good. I'm not going to do a search on them. I'm not gonna take this load or anything. It's just an example. This load has been up a very long time. Uh, it gives you some information along the side here. Uh, it says it can load Monday through Friday, eight to three 
and it's a tarp load. So you basically got to call and get information about this. Uh, it's 20 feet long. Uh, the weight is 5,700. Uh, so right, and it's uh, for a flatbed step deck. So that's exactly pretty much what we are. Um, you come over here, the user is, or the contact is Jay. There's the phone number. Personally, what I like to do is I like to look up, I like to do a Google Maps search on uh, the, the pickup and the drop off. And then I'll also uh, add the place that we're starting from. And then I'll put that one first because that's where we're starting from. So then I'll look at the map and get the estimated miles, which is 366 miles. Bring up the old calculator here. So this load is, and also, you know, it says $700 here, but since they want TARP or whatever, I would see if they would do 850 or 800. Sometimes they'll say yes, sometimes they'll say no, but what does it hurt to ask? I mean, we're in this to make money, might as well try. Um, so, we'll say it's for $700 because that's what they got posted. So, 366 miles, so 700 divided by 366 equals, so it's $1.91 per mile, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, I really don't know this general area in New York, uh, don't really go to it too often. So I couldn't say if there's going to be, um, if it's a good place to pick up from for in hot shotting, you really want to pay attention to that, but you are working against the clock, so you don't, you only have so much time to decide what you're going to do. Uh, this is also a toll road, so you have to take that into consideration that you're going to be paying for some of that. I'm not really sure how much. And then up here is a toll world too, but I'm sure I could find uh, a different route to take to bypass that. So yeah, there's uh, a lot of, you got to take in consideration when you take loads and whatnot. But with the rates being what they are, uh, it's good to know your numbers on what your minimum is per mile that you need to make and what you can make. I'd probably most likely take this. You can't take too much time because then somebody else will probably jump on it, but this one's been up a while, so I feel like it's probably a wide load and that's why it hasn't been taken. And then sometimes they have the lengths on here so you can see how long everything is. And what you can do is, like this one's 48 foot. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. If you do accidentally click on it and it's something that you're not interested in, because this is 48 foot flatbed, you can come over here and click on not interested and it takes it off your other screen. But what you can do is just come all the way over here and hit the X and that takes that off. Sometimes what these brokers will do, like that one load that we was looking at, it has, it's been up for several hours. So what they normally do is they'll take that one down and then they'll repost it to make it look like it's fresh. And then if somebody like uh, deleted it in the past, just like we just deleted some, it's gonna pop back up on our screen even though we just deleted it because they're reposting it. So it's like a new load that's being posted. It's kind of annoying. So another thing you can do, instead of looking at the rate per mile, having your top to bottom, we can do that for the rates, the total rates, and we can just skim down for something. This one's $1.23 per mile, it's 27 foot long, and it weighs 14,000 pounds, so that's a definite no, because that's like 90% of what we can handle, so we ain't gonna go to Texas for $1.23 per mile. Keep on scrolling down, that's 15,000 pounds. See, most of this crap's gonna be for semis, and that's what makes life hard. But these right here, it's probably all the same crap, but it's awesome because it's Finley. That's where we're at, you know what I mean? Zero miles, but you know, you're gonna have to go a couple, obviously. Z but minimal deadhead miles, okay? And this is seven feet long, 6,400 pounds. That leaves us with like 10,000 pounds left on the trailer and like roughly 30 foot of deck space. So what we do is we would click on this, check this out, and it's gone. That happens a lot. See, you gotta be fast at everything. 
another thing you got to think about though, uh, we was just looking at that and uh, it's going to North Dakota. In my experience, it's hard to find stuff leaving that general area, so I normally don't go over there. Um, but you know, it's different for everybody. There's people that can make that work. So I'm not gonna say don't do it. I'm just gonna say you gotta find something that works for you and uh, make sure you stay within your own guidelines that works for you. Uh, Cause we've gone down to Florida already and it, we couldn't get anything going out. It was a nightmare. We went to uh, Western Texas. Couldn't find anything out of there. So I mean, we usually stay out of certain states. Well you guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Normally when I'm doing this in the morning, I have a cup of coffee. I have a couple sips and it sits right here. I'm so locked onto the computer that my coffee barely gets drank and I have to reheat it several times just because it gets cold because I'm trying to find that perfect load. But sometimes you have to settle for what's out there. You can't wait for uh, everything to fall into your lap but make sure that it's not below hello the stick first at prices that you and your family can afford our i'm getting really tired of those calls don't just take any load but don't settle for loads that are below um the amount that you need to make per mile it's a really important what you know all of your costs so that way you know uh what the cost of your operation is per mile and uh, so that way you know when you're making money and uh, when you're not making money. Uh, it sounds like majority of people try to stay above $1.50 per mile and that's including deadhead miles. Everybody's gonna be different, everybody's got different bills, different amounts, so some are really high, some have paid off trucks, paid off trailers and no debt, so they have, it doesn't, you know, they make, so much more than us if they're getting the same amount per mile. So I mean, everybody's different. So everybody has a different uh, number. The higher your debt, the harder this game's gonna be. I wish you all well. Uh, if you guys do this, it's a tough game. I, I hope you can do it and be successful. Uh, I wish you guys all the best. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe, hit the like button, share with a friend, and God bless you guys. Nothing can break me.